Hello again. I just thought I'd uh, show you uh, how my little plants are doing. Um, so I don't know if you remember, um, I transplanted the cucumbers into these little pots. These are now them. I uh, don't exactly remember how long ago that was. I think it was about a week, a uh, week and a half ago. But as you can see, oh, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a lot of roots in there. Um, the cucumbers are really doing the best. Uh, so here is just one of the cucumbers. Um, I seem to have to water the cucumbers every day um, just because they're evaporating the water so quick uh, through the leaves or, or whatever. Um, I've got my romaine lettuce right here. Uh, so that's this one. I've got... This is the Butter Crunch. Uh, the Butter Crunch, I believe, is doing the best. Um, and that's the one in the soil, even though uh, the Aero Garden is supposed to be better. I find that really it isn't. Um, and I was going to add more soil onto here to make the leaves of the lettuce a little more hardy. However, I decided against it because I like how the cup makes everything stand straight up. Uh, I know ideally you want it to uh, to be able to grab as much light as possible, but because I have them back here, um, I noticed that there was a lot of uh, light being spilt over from the arrow garden. So what I ended up, do ended up doing is I just put all my plants right here, right next to it. Um, I just have the light itself a little bit higher than you would normally. Uh, normally you would have it uh, right now for the size that they are you would have it like that but you don't get as much light out so I just have it a little bit higher so that everything around it um, can uh, get a little bit of the, of the light from that as well um, so as you can see it has really really thick stalks um, but there was um, there was one of these chilies that was kind of toppling over um, it was putting out roots right here and for some reason it just started falling over and and uh, coming up as you can see this is I believe this is the one um, I had it in this little it, little itty bitty pot uh, so it's getting a little top heavy uh, so what I ended up doing is I transferred it oh sorry it's not that one actually it is this one as you can see, it was starting to topple over this way, and it was starting to grow up toward the light. So I went ahead and transferred it and added more soil. I just need to compress it a little bit uh, to keep it straight up, and hopefully it'll start uh, growing straight up now that I'm going to have it right here. Um, what I'm also doing uh, while I have them, uh, or while I'm transplanting them, oh, this is a strange little leaf right here. This is just one leaf. Um, so yes, as you can see, um, I have a lot of the a lot of these leaves that are curling. Um, what I understand is that when they're like that, it means be that they need calcium. Oh, here's another strange leaf. It's connected right down the middle. Huh. Uh, so anyways, what I understand is that it needs calcium so what I'm doing is I have this mixture of uh, seed starting soil along with, um, with bone meal and I'm adding it I already did all these over here and this one so I already did all of these um, I'm setting them aside so that I know which ones I've done and which ones I haven't and as you can see this these I buried more um, the dirt was about here I believe and now it's up to about here uh, so hopefully it'll they'll grow a lot stronger because from what I can see this the seedlings are very thin at the moment um, and these are all the same um, they were planted at the same time um, so I did this one already with the strange leaves that I just noticed right now um, and then I did have one of the bujolokias die on me uh, so I just kind of yanked it out this is the remainder of it. It looks like the the root was rotting. But, oh well, I have plenty more. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, 
Um, this one is the potato. Um, I can't remember which kind it was. Um, as you can see, the stock on this one is uh, pretty thick as well. Um, I did have it in one of these little cups, but it just wasn't working out for it, so I went ahead and transplanted it to something a little bit bigger. Um, so hopefully it'll do a little better, and I am going to go ahead and add more soil onto here as well, like I did with the other ones, because uh, from all the videos I've seen online, um, it looks like you basically want this to go, you want to bring the soil up as it grows so that um, it'll, from these nodes right here, it'll put out more roots. The more roots you have, um, the more likely it is that you're going to have more potatoes. Uh, so I really want a lot more potatoes, uh, so we'll see, we'll see how, um, or what happens. Um, I've got more butter crunch over here uh, in my deep water culture. Um, at the moment I have, um, I wanted them to grow super fast, which I think was a mistake. I have uh, orchid food, which is 30-10-10, uh, so it's 30% nitrogen, 10% phosphate, and 10% potassium. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to change the water and uh, uh, just see if it'll work uh, or if it'll start growing better because uh, these and these are the same age or they were planted at the same time. I just don't know why the other ones are doing a lot better. Uh, and then as you can see here, I've got a lot more roots, but it's easier to see on this one. Um, so, oh. And I've got the mint here. Um, I don't have anything other than just water, a little teeny itty bitty bit of fertilizer, um, that 30-10-10, and that's it. That's all that's in there. And it started rooting, and there you go. I think I'm going to uh, put it in in dirt next. Hopefully, it it won't be shocked from going to from uh, straight water to dirt or soil, whatever. Um, so yeah, and then another reason why I am adding more dirt to most of these is, I don't know how well you can see, but right there, it's starting to, here, let me see, let me see if I can point to it, right there, it's uh, starting to put out more roots, and they're showing, um, so I'm trying to cover them as, as best I can, um, and another thing from these, uh, for some reason, it's putting out a lot of roots uh, right above the soil line so what I've noticed is I have to keep adding soil um, just to keep covering them up um, I am getting a lot of little uh, side shoots here I don't know how well you can see it um, no matter what kind of camera HD camera I get um, it always seems to be blurry so I do apologize about that um, but yeah um, I do have the Bujolokis. I they do have a lot of of uh, flowering sites, but no flowers yet. Uh, the closest one I have to flowering is that one right there, which has been looking like that for a while. But we'll see what happens. Um, another thing that I do have is let me show you here. Um, I don't know how well this is gonna work out, but. Uh, I did end up planting uh, carrots and it looks like it's not showing up very well uh, but I do have carrots on the far left side I have my Trinidad scorpions are coming in nicely uh, and I've got all these bujolokes again um, so we'll see how they turn out and I just planted a tomato as well well two of them actually uh, so we'll see how they do and yeah Oh, and I just noticed as well, um, it looks like I might have to get some uh, some iron. As you can see here, they're starting to look a little spotty, uh, which from what I've heard is uh, an iron deficiency. So this one's fine. It's just that big, it's just the really large, the really large one there, as you can see. And another thing I did, um, I went ahead and added my LED light onto the onto this one um, it is a little high but I don't know I'm gonna try bring it down a little bit I just didn't have anywhere to attach it to but yeah um, 
Hope you tune in again next time. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.